The BitPhoenix Prodigy M is compact and ready for anything. Click now to learn more. Game streaming online, whether it's on console or PC, basically popped up overnight, and it's kind of a thing. On the last gen consoles, it was mostly done through external recorders, such as PCs or dedicated boxes, but Sony has gone ahead and implemented live broadcasting directly to Twitch TV, directly on the PlayStation 4 console, saving gamers money and hassle. This video will be a guide for how to stream from the PS4, and I guess also an opportunity for you to enjoy my very first gameplay commentary video on YouTube. Something and there's a, oh my, wow. Did you see the monitor that guy had? And these action figures. This place is awesome. I wish I had a monitor like that. Okay, so hold on. I'm gonna see if I can find some like bad guys to fight or something. Ooh, beanbag chairs. Okay, we got some plants. I'm pretty sure something really exciting is gonna happen really soon. This is, uh, you know, my very first gameplay video. And is that guy on his phone? Is he even working? This is supposed to be an office, and these guys look like they're getting hammered. And that other guy over there is just like on his phone. So, all right. I'm gonna go like report them to their boss or something. Let's see if I can find his office. And then there's this guy. Look at this guy. He has a Bluetooth thing in his, in his ear. He's got a Bluetooth thing in his ear and he's holding a phone up to his head. I think he's a spy. I think I'm gonna follow him. Where's he going now? What, what is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, super inconspicuous. All right, well, we're, we're gonna be ready for this. I'm gonna be broadcasting this. So all you gotta do is go to broadcast gameplay, select Twitch, then you go to the Twitch website. Don't worry, it doesn't just open up a browser. It gives you a couple of options here. So you can go ahead and you can create a new account. I personally already have a Twitch account. So I'm just gonna go to login where I can enter my Twitch TV username as well as my Twitch TV password, which I have, of course, completely blacked out here, guys, because uh, stealing my Twitch TV password is not going to be a thing. So once I'm logged in, I've got a few different options. I can include, uh, yes, I can include a little video of myself in the corner if I happen to have a PlayStation camera. I can include microphone audio in my broadcasts, and I can display comments on the screen or not display comments on the screen. So that'll be from the Twitch chat. I can also change the channel name when I'm broadcasting, and I can post a link to Facebook because I use Facebook. Actually, I don't use Facebook, but what I will do is I'll change the name of my stream to uh, Test Stream or something like that so that people have some idea what's going on, although they probably still won't know what's going on. Then what we can do is we can go into Broadcast Settings and you can manage your account information, set up the quality from, you know, low to medium to high to best, and you can change some of the same settings that we saw on the screen before. Yay! Then when we're done that, all we gotta do is go down to Start Broadcasting and we're ready to rock. Alright, so let's watch this guy here. He's getting some, like, coffee or water or something. I see him giving me the shifty eyes. He knows I'm onto him. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! The cup's not even touching his lips. There isn't even anything in it! Look at that! He tips it over before- it what is he even doing? He tipped it before it got to his mouth. Then he, maybe if we get it out of the garbage can, we can get some clues. All right, I don't want to let him get away. Oh, I can run and he can't. That'll be a big advantage. That'll be key for later. Let's see if he does anything else suspicious here. Ah, yes. Oh, hey, cool. Check that out. Okay, so guys, you can actually see a little bit of information over on the right there. You can see there's 20 people watching the stream, and a couple people have commented on it. In fact, ah, yes, there are some more comments now because people are indeed confused by my test spy stream name. Yamunda, yes, you are indeed on TV. Your mother would be proud. So... I really hope that we don't get anything showing up here that's not appropriate for broadcast to my uh, my YouTube channel. Hold on a second. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. Look, he's holding a phone. He's got a Bluetooth earpiece in. He's a bad person. Well, I think we're pretty much done here. So thank you guys very much for checking out my first ever game commentary video. I'm going to stop broadcasting now and uh, I'll see you back in my normal habitat.
Now, while gameplay archiving on Twitch TV isn't supported on PS4 right now, it will be coming. In the meantime, if you want to archive your footage and or edit it on a PC, you will need a couple of things. Number one is an HDMI splitter that removes the HDCP protection from the gaming stream. These splitters aren't illegal, but some of the things you can do with them are, so be responsible. And number two is a capture device such as a more traditional PC capture station or a standard standalone device that records to flash memory, such as an Avermedia Live Gamer Portable or Game Capture HD 2. These setups allow for full 1080p recording. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my very first, you know, whatever we would call that video that was in the middle of this one, and I'd also like to thank Twitch TV for being the ones to provide us with a PlayStation 4, the one that we used for our console PC image quality comparison in exchange for us simply doing a guide on how to stream from PS4 to Twitch TV, which is something that I suspect a fair number of you are interested in anyway. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if you have anything else to express to us, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Thank you.